Hi everyone, greetings from National Skills Network. Uh, we are back to conversations with the leaders of NTTF team members uh, who are leading various initiatives and also leading their centers in different locations in India. So it is in this connection that uh, we are connecting today with uh, Mr. Uday Desai, who is the principal of NTTF Pune Center, which is known as PNTC. So, uh, sir, thank you so much for accepting our invite. Uh, we'll be very happy to learn more about this uh, new center of NTTF, which was recently, uh, you know, launched in Pune. So, let me uh, start by asking you more about the center and the current activities. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yes, sir. So, you can tell us a bit about the launch of the center and how uh, you know the courses are being offered and the nearness to the industrial hub that is Pune. Uh, well, uh, thank you very much for inviting me for uh, conversations over here about the Pune NTTF Center over here. Uh, well, uh, this particular center in Pune has been established in collaboration with Indo-Swiss Center of Excellence. Uh, this Indo-Swiss Center of Excellence is uh, motivated, developed, and then established by a few industries who are involved with the Swiss government and Swiss activities over here in Pune. They all came together and established this particular uh, center of excellence hmm. uh, in which NTTF has uh, taken up the activities of training the youths, you know, making the skills and then making them industry ready people to take up their employment or to become entrepreneurs over here in Pune. Uh, here in Pune, since uh, this is a major hub for automotive, you know, manufacturing component manufacturing industries, hmm. uh, we started this center with two uh, diploma courses. One is the diploma in uh, electronics engineering and embedded system. The other one is diploma in mechatronics and smart factory. So these two courses are diploma courses for six semesters. That means for three years, these courses are being, you know, started over here in uh, Pune. Uh, since the industries who have uh, came together and then they found out that electronics and mechatronics is a major, you know, I mean, I mean uh, the uh, trades in which the candidates can be trained, the, the youth of India can be trained and, you know, given with some information so that they can become entrepreneurs as, as well as, you know, take up the employment over here in industries because automation plays a big role in the industries nowadays because looking into the productivity and all those things. Right. Uh, mechatronics plays a big role over there because it involves mechanical, electronics, computers, and integration of pneumatics, hydraulics, and, you know, computers together. So, there will not be, you know, I mean, a blame game over there saying that this is a mechanical problem, this is an electronics problem. Yeah. The candidates are ready to take up the activities over there in the industries. Yeah. Uh, this is what has been started over here in uh, Pune. Uh, uh, very interesting, sir. And this is a very good example of uh, how you are catering to the industry requirements, as you said, uh, especially in the automotive industry or any other industry today, uh, there is a lot of need for the subjects that you mentioned. So uh, maybe you can tell us a bit more about how has been the response to these courses, the two courses that you mentioned. Yeah, uh, the response as such is very good, to be frank. Okay. You know, the candidates responded very well because the only thing is we started a little, little bit late. That's the reason, you know, uh, we could not get much candidates get, I mean, enrolled over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely over the years, we will, you know, establish the candidates coming on or coming in over here to enroll as the trainees to take up the diploma courses. Uh, see, the thing is, uh, major thing is, you know, the industry needs, uh, we, not only these two courses, we have some plans to start with uh, post diploma in tool design because uh, tool design is major you know activity which is taken up over here since auto components are designed and manufactured and also the industry needs are taken care you know the different industries are visited over here and their needs of upskilling and reskilling of their employees right. uh, so that we can we can you know uh, develop the tailor made training programs for their to suit their requirements and deliver those training programs to the candidates of the employees of the industries so that is also one of the plans which is being taken up over here. Uh, over the years, this is going to be established. Now let's take a look at the inauguration of NTTF Pune Center at the Indo-Swiss Center of Excellence. Yes, 
uh, as you said, yeah, uh, since this is at the inception stage right now, uh, we are sure that, you know, it will attract more students and also it, it has a lot of uh, placement support, as I understand, because most of the entity of courses have done very well. Uh, it would be also nice to know so how you are catering to the industry requirement. Maybe you can give us an example uh, with a particular industry, exactly how the course feeds into uh, the industry requirement and how do you, uh, you know, make sure that the industry partnership also helps you in uh, maybe, you know, running the course in terms of the practicals, uh, the exposure to the industry, which is very important for the students and the nearness to the industry, which I think is exactly. also playing a crucial role. Yeah, uh, we are in uh, Koregaon Bhima in Pune. Okay. And uh, just recently, about three, four days back, I visited one industry, ITW, over here in Pune. When I visited there, I found out that the director is from NTTF, the vice president is from NTTF, <laughs> And the persons who are producing the components over there, machine, when the people working on the machines also are from NTTF. They have, there are about, about, about 12 NTTF candidates working mm. in that industry in a very major key role positions. Mm. Uh, so, so for, for example, making the, you know, productivity improvements, for example, the mechatronics candidates, uh, if the parts are being produced, say a hundred parts are being produced in a day, how to make that one to achieve around 500 parts in a day? Because in a day, eight hours is fixed. Within that eight hours, how best they can achieve the you know productivity, improving improving the you know the production activities. So yeah. that has been established over there in ITW. They have you know significant you know remarks have been made over there in uh, those industries. To be frank, okay. and in fact, uh, the Pari, there is one 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 industry which is into the automation activities. Hmm. Uh, there also I have seen many of the entity of see for for your information. There are about more than 2,500 to 3,000 entity of alumni. Either they have established their own industries and become their entrepreneur, they have become the entrepreneurs, or they are working in the key roles of those industries over here in Pune. Okay. Yeah, you just mentioned about the alumni at ITW. I think that's a very inspiring thing about the institution itself because uh, you have such a vast network of your own alumni, and I'm sure that will also smoothen the process, right? Uh, yes. And uh, yeah, so uh, it's very nice to know, sir, about the alumni network, uh, you know, giving back to the institution in that way also. And uh, besides this, uh, it would also be good to know about uh, uh, what are the future plans you have or what is the kind of roadmap you see for growing this center? Actually, you already mentioned about how you want to take up the PG diploma, the upskilling of the people who are already there. Uh, in these industries, which is very important. So maybe you can give us, uh, you know, a few ideas around this as well. Yeah, uh, the thing, thing is, you know, here in the center, we have been, uh, you know, given with all kinds of machines and equipments required for uh, diploma courses, that is for electronics as well as mechatronics. Hmm. All the equipments have been, you know, already established and, you know, installed to be frank, uh, which which is not existing in the other centers to be frank. Uh, those, in, those equipments and machines, the latest equipments and latest machines are already established and then installed over here, which mm -hmm. can be utilized uh, mm -hmm. for the needs and the requirements of the different industries, reskilling and upskilling activities. Uh, see, the first vision, what I would like to say for Pune Center is, uh, you know, establish the center for the for taking, you know, catering the you know needs of the youths to I mean, make them skilled, you know, workforce and make them the good citizens of this country, to be frank. Because what's most important thing is, they should have the knowledge, they should have the skills. See, yeah. the main thing is in NTTF is 70% practically we give them the exposures. They do with their own hands and then uh, establish whole things over here. Theory is only 30%, mm -hmm. uh, just to make them aware of those theory part. Uh, that is what is the vision over here, to establish the whole center first and then take it forward for making it Utilize for making the utilization of those these equipments and the machines for the you know training purpose and all those things. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything else which is planned out even for the trainers, sir? Uh, uh, like the faculty program or how they can be updated with the industry? Do you have any such plans as well? Definitely, definitely, we have some TOT programs also to be run over here. You know, the train the trainers. Uh, that kind of training is also being planned over here because the utilization should happen. To the hundred percent, you know that's what is the plan over here. And most important thing is when I, you know, did a survey over here in, uh, I mean, with the alumni, 
what they would like to mention is the tool and die making, which is the important course, which is which is started by NTTF in the uh, beginning of NTTF courses in India. Mm -hmm. uh, since this is the automobile manufacturing hub, uh, tool and die making would play a big role, but it needs a lot of establishments. Once we start with electronics and mechatronics, at the later stage, we can take up the tool and die making course also over here. See, yes. main important thing is the four pillars of entity of nurture, train, trust, and focus. Yeah. These things are kept in mind always uh, to, you know, train and then develop and then make them, you know, focused training activities. Yeah. Okay, that's really inspiring, sir. And also, I think uh, you just mentioned the state-of-the-art training center, which I think is most crucial in any skill-based technical uh, training, which I'm sure NTTF has uh, so many of them across the country. So is there anything else you wish to mention before we close this conversation? Maybe any message to the students, uh, probably, you know, uh, who can learn more uh, from this video if they watch? Yeah, uh, see, uh, since uh, NTTF is, uh, you know, I mean, uh, pioneers over there over here in making the diploma courses, as well as we have the graduation course also parallelly for them during their, you know, diploma courses. Uh, I would like to mention over here that this can be, you know, taken up as a, you know, uh, major in industry uh, focused training institution mm. uh, for the candidates because they can take up the training over here. They are, they'll become ready to take up employment or become entrepreneurs that kind of you know uh, opportunities existing over here for the candidates nearby uh, pune you know the, all these local areas over here uh, that's what is the message i would like to give to the students over here in local people yeah okay thank you sir for sharing the story of the pntc which is the entity of center in pune uh, as our viewers uh, can understand that NTTF is a very pioneering uh, institution uh, for more than six decades, they have been contributing to technical training. And now you just saw that uh, skilling and technical training has potential not only for jobs, but also to become job creators through entrepreneurship. Thank you, sir. Yes. We look forward to being in touch with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.